Here I have a column grid for a CMS collection, but this layout is unique, and the reason is because this layout isn't using any columns or any grids. If we were to use Flexbox columns for a CMS list, we wouldn't get very far, because any way we try to orientate it, we can't get the items to sit directly underneath each other. And if we use a plain old grid, we have the exact same issue. All of the blocks have to be uniform sizes. The layout we want is more similar to a Pinterest style grid, with items sitting naturally under each other in as many columns as we want. And we can do exactly that. But since our display is set to block, then how exactly are we doing this? Is Webflow broken? Is it some sort of black magic? Or have I simply taken a screenshot of the website into Figma, made it look right, and then added it back into my browser? Well, this uses a trick that's actually a lot simpler than any of these options. In fact, it's so simple, I probably didn't need to make a minute long intro to explain the feature that you can use in 10 seconds. Make sure you have the list of your CMS collection selected, and then in the style settings, scroll down to typography. In the more type options, we're gonna add a number to our columns. We can make our grid two columns, or three columns, or even 512 columns. But let's switch that back to two for now. With that set up, our columns are already working how we want them to. So we can now pop into more settings and change the gap to better suit the content. And if we want to be fancy, we can even add a divider. But let's leave that off for now. Now as we go down our screen sizes, we can adjust the columns to better suit the layout. So let's minimize the gap on tablet, and make it one column on mobile. And so that's it. Simple CMS columns so you can make a clone of Pinterest for people with a peanut allergy, or just to make your project grid look better. So thanks for watching. If you have a video suggestion, feel free to leave that in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one.